happy Monday. Excited to jump right into this. First, a big shout out and thank you. I was interviewed by Franchisee Times on the Atlanta market. So check that out. Link is in the notes. But I also want to let you know that CNBC did an article on shallow recession. Oh my gosh, say that three times fast. Shallow recession is on its way. And I think that the way they phrased that was really well done and so was the article. So again, that is linked here in the notes. And kudos to them for not doing clickbait. So if you'll do us all a favor and go click on it because it was a well-written article. All right, the next thing I wanna tell you is that we need to look at um, homes coming on the market, even back on the market, versus the ones going off the market because that's how we get upticks in month supply of inventory and we have more options for buyers and that's how we get to that moderation market. So we're gonna look at that here in just a second, but let's start out with how many new listings came on the market over the weekend in the past three days. We had new 887 with an average list price of 409,000. Back on the market, 108. Price reductions, big jump up here again, 554 with an average list price of 415 and 27 days on market. 14 of those 554 went pending. So that's not a huge percentage. So we continue to see the impact of overpricing in this market. Expired to 49 with an average list price of 440. 70 days on market, so a tick up there as well. Looking like people are willing to hang in there a little bit longer at that higher price point without the reduction, of course. Withdrawn 87 with an average list price of 475, 30 days on market, and hold 55. All right, active under contract, 260. Under contract, 695 with a median list price of 395,000 with 10 days median on market. Now, that's interesting because if we look at close, which we can only see Friday afternoon's numbers, 300 closings with a median list price of 392.5 and a median sales price of 395 even. That is the first time since we've been tracking these numbers that we've seen the list price be above the sales price. So that is interesting and we'll have to keep an eye and see if that trend continues. Um, coming soon, 8439 uh, being the median list price. And I'm gonna have to disappear for one second because my stats drop down here for me to tell you the difference between the ones that came on market and what came off market. All right, so new and back on market. Total of 1,085 homes over the last three days. Now, what about off market? Active under contracts, pending and closed. We lost 1,255 homes that came off the market. So, as of the last three days, we're still not replacing what we need to continue on that inventory track to replace the houses that are going under contract and off market. So what does that mean? First of all, go get listings. Second of all, price them correctly. And third is that yes, while inventory has increased year over year, if you're strictly comparing to 2021, we still are not getting enough homes on the market to put a substantial dent into it. So keep an eye on that. And then the other thing is, is rates tick down again to 5.5%, which is the lowest we've seen since May 26th. So you have buyers, now is the time to get them to lock in. If you have a listing and are looking for a creative way to market that, what about a buy down? More on that tomorrow. Please DM me if you want a link on pricing in a shifting market. And don't miss Rachel Mooney listing presentations in a changing market as well. Have a fantastic rest of your week. See you tomorrow.